For some years, Florida State University has sponsored excavations at the site of Cetamora del Chianti, which is in between Florence and Siena in Italy. We excavate these cultures, and it's a habitation site, which means that a lot of the artifacts are not really very well preserved. They're, they're broken and burnt and buried, and um, we found a number of them in a sanctuary. We found a number in a very deep well there. It's very different on the habitation site from the way it is if you're digging a uh, cemetery, tombs. Often the tombs have whole objects in them, but we're always dealing with fragments. And so uh, when I heard about 3D printing, I realized there was the possibility of taking some of the designs we made from the fragments and based on those creating three-dimensional models so that we could then have uh, a real 3D object uh, to help us to study the pottery, for example, that we have found. When we have these designs that we can put into a printer, uh, we can have the object anywhere in the world, actually. So this is a great boon for our research. We can study these objects here in Florida that we excavated there in Italy. He prints them in parts, mm -hmm. so you have to weld the parts together. Okay. And after you weld them, you have to sand it down. I realized we could work with pottery very quickly. These are small objects. We don't need a really big printer yet. We're not ready to print, you know, the equivalent of ancient chariots, for example. But um, I think we can move on from this to work on bigger objects and uh, different kinds, diverse objects. And the thing about the pottery is that in my field, every site has pottery. So it means that we can do comparisons with other people's pottery. Literally, the sky's the limit. There are thousands and thousands of pots out there waiting to be printed.